Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you my way of making a garden for our American Girl doll or uh, any type of 18 inch doll. This is a fun, easy and low budget project that your girl will love to add to her doll collection. For the basic tool, we need cardboard ruler, utility life, sponge, cutting board, brown acrylic paint, pencil, pruning scissors, masking tape, hot glue gun and glue. I got these four sheets of artificial grass tile for $1.50 each from Dollarama. We need three of these garden border fences and they're $2 each. These are random greens and flowers that I have accumulated for my craft. I got these tiny pots for $3 each. Japanese Sololite for $2. Stone for my front lawn. The special thing is a pinwheel display from Dollarama. Once I saw it, I knew exactly that it would work, work, work perfectly for a raised bed garden. They gave it for me for free, yay! I got this piece for $1 from a flea market. It would make it perfect for a big earth, along with our big shrub ball. Let's start by measuring the cardboard as our base with a size of 2x2 two two feet. Then cut it on the cutting board using the ruler as a guide for a straighter edge. I love the soft adhesive grass. Just to mention, make sure that you're aware of the grass direction when placing all the sheets down. Now we're gonna peel the backing off slowly and press the grass tile onto the board. Make sure the grass tile align well along the edge of the cardboard. And slowly we peel the backing off and press the glue side down. We just have to be really patient with the step. When applying the next piece, make sure that the grass direction are the same as the first one. I overlap the edge a tiny bit by 1 16th up an inch so the seam can blend well together. and I just brush off uh, the nap. And once we we're done, we trim off the excess of the cardboard if there is any excess. Nothing is in its perfect size anyways. For the fence part, there's a joint seam between the base and the picket part. So I thought the best way is to break it. Cutting it off seemed almost impossible. So I placed the fence along the table edge with the picket outward and quickly break it hard. Eat. I do not recommend this way, but if it's impossible for you to perform the previous step, then what you can do is to burn this joint so that the plastic gets softer. Then you can cut it off the scissors. There are a lot of ideas to make a raised bed garden. If you keep an open mind, you'll see it around like a wooden tray, small wooden boxes, fill them up with foam and repaint it. Now let's paint the earth part to brown to make it more realistic and also to allow the flowers and leaf colors to stand out more. Let us begin by covering the wooden part with masking tape and tape it all around. Now we just need to use the sponge to, ta uh, to tap it onto the foam. So uh, shake your acrylic bottle. It just looks better if we create the texture. 
so just don't brush it like you know towards like one stroke direction but um dab it and dab it over around the edge close to the edge and once we're done we will put it aside and let it dry for about for about 20 minutes in the meantime let's connect the fences together so click the joint all together the sides work out really well it's a two feet long fence so it works out really well for a two by two garden and place the fence on top of the grass to secure the fence let's glue um, the joint together as well as gluing the base of the fence down onto the grass That way it all comes together as one piece and the fence can just stand up by itself. As you can see everything being securely glued down as I lift the fence up. To secure the fence more, I also use, I also glue the fence opening with the uh, this urn. It's a it's it's little, but it's a little bit heavy. This urn is heavy, so that's why it's more secured if I attach it down. On the other side, I also glue down uh, the stone with the fence opening as well, and um, I just glue down this pinwheel to give it. A more clean finish look to cover the joint of the fence as well as gluing down the little stone just to have to give it a, a cleaner finish of the opening and this shrub I got from dollar store works perfectly for the you know at this case and once we're done with the um, the raised bed you can peel off the masking tape as you can see I glue these little plants down and with this flowers that got the little leaves so um, it's better I just wire them together um, these things I don't know what they're in real life but I thought the shapes and the color just will give it more um, of a, an interesting look for a garden so it's time just to plug all of our little plants onto our raised bed garden whichever way you plan Now, our basic garden is all done. All we have to do is to add whatever accessories that we have and place them onto our garden. So this tiny pot works well with that corner, um, Japanese lantern. These are supposed to be for the fish tank, but I, I thought they're so earthy, so I got them for the garden. Uh, picnic fireplace and picnic chair. Got another interesting pot there, and the stones work so well. Pick them up anywhere, and it works well everywhere in the garden. As you can see, Aldol is so happy to be able to grow beautiful flowers in her garden. And have fun crafting, everyone! And thank you for watching.